the very impatient caterpillar. Today's story is Ross Barach's hilarious tongue-in-cheek exploration of metamorphosis. It will make you flutter with glee while also providing real facts about how caterpillars transform into butterflies. Today's themes are patience and growth. And today's question is, have you ever had to be patient? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The Very Impatient Caterpillar by Ross Baratch. Hey, what are you guys doing? We are going to metamorphosize. Metal what now? Transform into butterflies. Right, right, uh, I knew that. Wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me. Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, uh, right, right, I, I knew that. What? How did you do that? Is it a spin or, or more of a twist? Am I a butterfly yet? Uh, no what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patient, right, 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 uh, I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about no? No. No? No. Be patient. I have a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine, ask. How's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No! Just be patient. Shh! We're trying to metamorphosize. Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long it takes? Two weeks. Right, right, two weeks. Two weeks! Oh, what am I going to do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I need the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? What if I want a snack? Uh, hello? Two pizzas, please? My address? Uh, uh, chrysalis? Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? Bling, bling. Is this still day one? This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Look out, world! Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly! How do I look? Transformed? Time to spread my wings and fly. Wait! Where are my wings? Splat! Time for a new approach. Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Get a grip. Yes, you can. I can't. I can't. You are the little caterpillar that could. I am the little caterpillar that couldn't. You can. I can't. You can. I can. You can. I can. You can. Can't. 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 I can be patient. Day two. Patience is all in the mind. Day three. Be one with the chrysalis. Day four, deep breath in. Day five, and out. Look, day six. Day seven, I'm doing it. Day eight, just be patient. Day nine, just be patient. Day 10, day 11, day 12, two weeks later. I did it! I am a butterfly! You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I am going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are y'all going? We're migrating. Migrating, right, right. Wait for me. Are we there yet? Ah. Uh... For today's activity, I want you to think about waiting. Maybe waiting in the doctor's office, or maybe you had to wait while your grown-up worked. Or maybe you even had to wait your turn for using a toy. Daniel Tiger says, When you wait, you can play, sing, or imagine anything. I don't know if you know Daniel Tiger, but he is very famous in our house, and he has some really, really great tips for how to be patient or deal with your emotions. And so in this case, when you have to be patient, you can do that. You can sit and play or sing or even imagine. So today, 
Let's get creative. Grab your crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever it is you like to choose. And I want you to do one of two things. I either want you to draw about a time that you had to be patient. You can draw what you were thinking, what you did, or what it looked like while you were waiting. The other option is you can draw a butterfly. And today we're going to use some symmetry. Symmetry means that something is the same on both sides. So you can fold a piece of paper in half and draw half of a butterfly on one side. And then in order to make it symmetrical or it to have symmetry, you have to draw it the same way on the other side. So this will test your imagination, your creativity, and also your focus. Thank you so much for sharing today's book with us. I'm so excited to see these pictures. Please send them to me at thegivingprojectforchildren at gmail.com or post them to social media and tag us in them, and I'd love to respond. Let's continue to develop our love of reading together. Till next time.